Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I show you how to fix angle grinders. I show you how you can change the brushes and how you clean the commutator. Let's get started. These are the angle grinders with the worn down brushes. Um, then I have different spare brushes, brushes here. So different sizes. I hope uh, one of those will fit to each uh, amateur here. And as well I have a sandpaper recommend be an 800 sandpaper that we can clean the commutator because if a system was sparking before maybe also there are some marks on the commutator and which has to be replaced so I will start now with the Makita it will be the first and so I show you how you open it how you clean it well so basically there is just a screw here you can open it. Sometimes it's enough to just uh, replace the carbon brushes, but in this case I think I have also to clean the commutator because this was used in a very dusty environment. To open this you have, we have here four more screws. I will just open those. This will not go out because we have to take out the brushes first. Just, just see this is the feather here which which holds the, the brush in place. And just you see you move it over there. Oh yeah, I see. This is really worn down. I remove the second one. Sometimes it's better to use a screwdriver instead. Alright. The second brush. Move this out. Oh well, you see. They're really gone. Okay, now it's easily to remove inside here you see this is the accommodator which we have to clean as well this is already worn down first step is to clean it I go outside this is just spray well I have cleaned this Makita angle grinder now so far the next thing is I remove the carbon brushes. It's just here, as you can see, you remove this, this one, this is the next one, okay. Now I have to check which one could can fit. Oh well, I think those are the correct ones here. Yes. This looks promising. Sometimes you have to replace these clips here as well. Just sold it or crimp it. And here is a comparison to the used one. The size comparison, you see. Okay, that was the first one. Now Second one, it's going over there. All right. Basically, yeah. The, but before I remount everything, I will just clean the commutator. As I said before, it's sometimes it's really really necessary. To do this 
and I quickly do it this way. I need to anyways, because I think I will do it for the other angle grinder as well. And how does it work now? Just put this here. You have to care where the rotation is going. So this spins this way. What I do now is side put this back this is the feather here just put this off checking the cable yeah maybe I have to next time I have to cut it and make it a little bit shorter, but here this is also worn down a little bit. If you wondered why there is no protection here, I just removed it before, so I will put it back on it. But for now, it should work again. Let's test it. It's working. So first one is fixed. The second one will be a little bit harder because I'm not 100% sure but last time I had no right brushes. So let's do the same for the Metabo now. Let's go. Sometimes you have to take care. You see this here? Yeah, this was not the angle grinder, but um, I had another issue, my birdhouse fall on my chin. So nothing happened, but I it's really recommended to have safety goggles if you use with angle grinders. All right, so this Metabo, they use special screws Maybe I'm lucky and have another set of those here. Let's try it. This commutator looks much better. It's not so worn out, but same procedure. Remove it, clean it. This is how we do it. will clean also this commutator here. Remove it, clean it, put some contact spray on it, sandpaper it a little bit and then we are ready to go. Um, just one tip, if, if you do not have the right size, you know, sometimes they are bigger, what you can do is you could also sandpaper this, this to the right size. This would be possible. Some use uh, carbon out of batteries, but this is really not recommended because it's much harder and it will wear down the accommodator quicker. I go outside now 
open this and clean this as well. As you see, doesn't matter which brand, they are all the same. Okay, as I said before, this commodator looks better, but as well, there are some markings. I will clean it. Just a contact cleaner here. Some rooms. step they will not fit so what I have to do now I just have to grind them a little bit they are not 100% the same size Maybe those are better the smaller mm -hmm. Just make this a few times until it fits perfectly. It must go easily in. You see? side as well. Put the feather back in place. Looks really good. New brushes are inserted and now just put the housing back. Smoothly. Let's test it. Super. yeah great guys so thanks for watching if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments just write it down below I will be happy to answer them and also consider to subscribe to my small channel those are the worn down carbon brushes here well both are working. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.